Hey guys, Jack here again from the Bitcoin Breakout Podcast. Um, in the last video, I showed you why your sats were not accumulating. Possibly, I'm not even sure if that's true or yet. I'd love to hear back from somebody if that's why. And it probably makes this video not necessary, but I think it'd be a good idea anyway to go through the fact that there are settings in the Fountain app that you can go through and set up and what you might want to do with them. So again, to get into your settings, at the top right corner of the app, click on the three little uh, dots there, and you'll see all the different things you can do. Let's go into the main settings first. You click that. And the first thing is your notifications. So you'll notice when you're on the main screen, let me go back here a second. You'll see right there is a little bell. It says I've got 99 notifications. I'm not real good at keeping up with my notifications. But that lets you decide, well, what notifications do you want to get? And so you can see when someone follows you. If you want those notifications, when someone likes one of your clips, uh, when someone comments uh, or replies to your comments, and when you look, click on the podcast one, you can decide which podcast you want to get notifications of. I think that is still well in its infancy stages. I think that's something that needs to be worked on. I haven't messed with it because it literally looks like it has like every podcast you've ever listened to not just what you subscribe to. So I don't know. So, but now that I'm looking at it, they are all shows I've at least listened to a little bit. So you can do that. And that way you'll get a pop-up notice when one of the shows you like has a new episode. Um, you can change your automatic download. So that's the next thing in the thing. So that means that when you have a new episode of a show you're subscribed to, it won't just tell you it's there. It'll actually download a copy onto your device so that it's ready to listen to immediately. You can turn that off if you only want to download them as you listen. That might be a good thing to do. And um, you can also turn the mobile that you notice I have the mobile data one off. So it's not going against my data plan. Uh, it won't do that when I'm out. I'm pinging, you know, AT&T towers or something like that. You can change your skip forward and skip backward. This I find to be really convenient. I keep mine at 30 seconds ahead and 10 seconds back. That way, if I jump past the spot and I'm like, yeah, I want to hear that, I, I'm not going all the way back to where I was. You can change that. You have a lot of options there. You have 10 seconds and 30 seconds. Those are your two choices. So it's like the Model T, you can have any color if it's black, right? It'd be like you could have a black one or a white one instead. Uh, now, on the value for value, you can set a default to how many sats you give somebody when you boost them. When you go to do a boost, it's going to come up that number is going to be in the field. And if you want to tell them something, you can add the boostergram, right? You can say your show rocks or whatever. And you can change that number. That number is not like it doesn't automatically boost that number of sats. That's just the default where it defaults to. Sats per minute. That's when you're listening if you're streaming. If you set that to one, every time you listen to a podcast, not a clip, but a podcast, a full episode, you're streaming one sat a minute. And that was the last video I said, if, you, if you're earning about, if you're earning less than a sat a minute and you're streaming a sat a minute, as your sats accumulate, they're going right back out. So just be aware of that. Just be aware of that. I mean, that makes perfect sense. Uh, sats per like. So when you see a, a clip and you say, I like that clip, or you give somebody's comment a like, it you can't set that number below 10 sats. This is what social media has needed you need a cost per action of something so that people aren't spamming and, 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 and causing problems with everything. That, that, that said, a, a 10, 10 sats is less than a penny. So I decided if I like somebody's stuff, I'm going to give them at least 25 sats. It's also a nice round number because a lot of times if somebody makes a clip of one of my shows and I really appreciate the way they did the clip, I immediately am like, that's worth 100 sats. It's three and a half cents or something, right? So that way instead of 10 likes i only have to do four so that's just why i picked that number and then if you want to make your boosting private so that nobody sees it except the host that you're boosting to you can i you can then set that there and then i really like this as well now i've got three clips right now running paid promotions so i want you to see my paid promotions if you're not a subscriber yet maybe you'll become a sub um but i but if you don't want the advertisements and remember, when you watch an ad, somebody like me paid for it for you to get paid. It's not like listening to an episode and getting your, your standard sats listening to an episode. But if you don't want any advertising, 
you just turn it off. I think that's fantastic. So those, those are the basic settings. Um, I will say a little thing here about Fountain Premium. It's three bucks a month. And if you're doing a lot of transactions, it removes your payment fees. I don't know that it'll ever pay for itself that way. I subscribe to it and I mainly did it because it lets you create playlists. And I think that's a really cool feature. And I'm also doing it because I support Fountain and I want them to do well. They do have a thing to take a tour. It's pretty basic. It doesn't really do much. I'm not overwhelmed with it. I think the tour could be a little bit better. If you want to send feedback, you can do that here. Reporting bugs, request a feature, send uh, send applause, all those things. Um, you can invite friends. This is important. If you take that code right there and you invite somebody and they join Fountain, it increases your earning power. But I'm going to show you something in a minute about how you can do that another way with someone that's already a Fountain member. So if you're in Telegram groups or whatever, listen to podcasts, y'all can help each other out here. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, and then there's an FAQ. I, I wish it was a little easier to find that. Fountain has a, a wonderful FAQ for listeners and for podcasters on their website. I think that should be like right up at the top of the app. I think it would solve a lot of problems and, and, and reduce uh, help requests from from users to fountain i think that would be a good thing but but they haven't done that yet now let me show you i want to show you one more thing before we go when you go in your wallet you'll notice that, that right about dead center of the screen it says 5x refer your friends share your code using fountain right so this is something you can do if you go there you'll see that you have a code and mine is jack spirico dash eight fc some something something you can copy that code okay once you copy that code, you can give that to anybody using Fountain, even if they have done it for somebody else. I guess they're looking for networks effect, network effects here. You can click on redeem code. And now if I paste my own code in there, it's obviously not going to work. But if they paste your code and hit redeem, it will up your earnings power. And if you paste their code and hit redeem, it will up your earnings power. Every time you do that, it'll go up by one. So some of you guys that maybe you're streaming sats, Maybe you're earning less than one sat a minute and you're streaming out one. That could be part of why you're not accumulating any. So if you're in a network and you can see I've had eight people uh, use my code, but it only goes up to 5x. So I hope that gives you guys a little bit better understanding of all the features that are in Fountain. Tell me what you want to see next. A couple of you have asked to make a clip. It's really easy. And I plan to do it today. And like I said, my last video, Fountain is having so much growth. I just think maybe they're a little bit overwhelmed. And when you try to make a clip right now, the thing that spins is supposed to stop spinning and pull up the text. It just keeps spinning and then it stops spinning and then it doesn't work. Give these guys a little bit of breathing room. Give them some time to grow. They're good people. They're working hard. They're getting directly back with me. Other people that I know in some of my Telegram groups. They're communicating well. I think maybe they could do a little bit more public outreach about bugs and stuff like that on Twitter so that people were more aware. Um, what I said on the podcast the other day, it's kind of like when you go to, to a restaurant and the service is going to be a little slow and the kitchen's backed up, but the waitress comes out and make sure you have your drink and she apologizes for it being late. You're a lot more tolerant. I think they could use that approach a little bit more. But in the end, these guys are kicking ass. They're doing something that's never been done in the world of podcasting before. I've been podcasting for 14 years. I've never been this excited about anything inside the world of podcasting other than my own stuff in those 14 years. So I'll catch you guys again. Let me know what you want to know next about how to use the Fountain app.